I don't know what to post is just an excuse that's keeping you stuck, okay? I want you to learn, first of all, what your superpowers in business are. What is your superpower and how can you step into it? Also, how to learn how to own that superpower and market like a rock star. Welcome to Tried and True with a Dash of Woo, where we're all about mixing tried and true strategies that actually work with the magic of manifestation and the science of programming your unconscious mind so that you walk away feeling integrated, inspired, and aligned. I'm Renee Bowen, certified life and business coach, professional photographer, middle-aged wife, and mom to now three grown kids. I've built two multiple six-figure businesses with zero business training by digging in, learning the methods, and now I'm here to pass them all on to you. From photography and business strategies to energy healing, human design, and the basics of manifestation, we cover it all here. I'm here to help you embrace your multi-passionate brains and lean in to the fastest and most efficient ways to reach your goals, whatever they may be. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, or maybe you're just here for the woo-woo, let's dive in and explore all the exciting ways to take your life, business, and self-improvement to the next level. Thanks for joining me and get ready to be inspired. Hello, and welcome back to Tried and True with a Dash of Woo. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode Today is going to be a little different. It is a solo episode with yours truly. We are going to be talking all about showing up for your business. I'm launching a really awesome, fun new challenge starting tomorrow. And this episode is designed to help you understand how to use that challenge that feels good to you in a way that feels good to you. And that will also give you the best results. I'm calling it show and tell the 30 day visibility challenge because I do want to make this fun for you guys. Now, some of y'all are probably saying, Renee, I am about to go into my busiest time of year. It is fourth quarter craziness, you know, September through December, especially if you're a photographer. But any of you guys, like this tends to be when most creative businesses, you know, make the bulk of their money. So a lot of y'all are probably wondering, I, you know, I, how am I going to commit to something like this when I'm already really, really busy? Now to that, I'm going to, I'm going to say... You can use it as an excuse or you can use it as motivation because what happens for a lot of you is that you get really busy doing all the things, all the things in your business during this time of year. And then you get to January and you realize you have not been marketing because you've been you know, fulfilling client orders and actually doing the work of maybe shooting and editing and whatever it is your business is. You get to January and you're dead and you don't have any clients. So I want to intercept that this year. I want you to change that this year. And also this challenge is not one that you have to spend a lot of time on. I've specifically designed it for those of us who are busy and who have overactive creative brains. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be challenging, but it is also 100% doable. There are a lot of y'all who have the same issues with showing up for your business, okay? I hear a lot of, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to post. I post and then I ghost. There's inconsistency. Um, I just don't know how to reach, you know, my target audience. There's this also underlying fear of showing up for your business, right? Fear of being found out, fear of being made fun of, what other people are going to think. Uh, I don't want to be cringy. I I don't want to be salesy. I have a problem asking for sales. I don't want to just, you know, seem like a slimy car salesman. All of that stuff, right? A lot of it has to do with confidence. I totally understand that. You might look at my social media and think that I don't know what that would feel like, right? That that fear of showing up or not having a lot of confidence because I post like one to three times a day and I'm always showing up on my story, but it wasn't always like that, okay? I used to break out into a cold sweat before I had to post something or talk on camera. And now I can just open my camera and talk and I don't even care. It is because I am desensitized and I want to do a 30-day challenge to help you guys desensitize yourselves. 
The most recent research does suggest that it takes about 66 days to form a habit, but that also depends on a lot of variables. It depends on consistency and also your motivation and how committed you are. So I really believe that if you are really committed, you can absolutely form a new habit in 30 days. And if nothing else, having to show up and meet some of these challenges that I'm going to be giving you guys in a supportive setting like you'll have inside of it, you are going to be able to form these new habits much quicker than you would be if you were on your own. So why does visibility matter? Okay, I am going to tell you my feedback just from working inside of coaching with photographers and creatives on the daily, as well as my own you know, perception of it within my business. But also there's some statistics that we can definitely rely on. Brands that are consistently visible on social media have seen up to a 200% increase in audience engagement compared to those who post sporadically. According to Edelman's Trust Barometer, 81% of consumers need to trust the brand to make a purchase. Consistent visibility really helps build that level of trust. There's also SEO benefits. Companies that blog consistently, for example, have 434% more indexed pages than those who don't. That increases online visibility dramatically, okay? So anybody who tells you that blogging doesn't matter, I'm sorry, they just don't really know what they're talking about. Let's talk lead generation for a second. HubSpot found that companies that blog more than 16 times a month got almost three and a half times more traffic and four and a half times more leads than companies that blogged less than four times a month. The bottom line is that the more you show up, the more you're seen as an expert in your field. And this is especially crucial for creatives whose work is subjective. Consistent visibility ensures that you are the first person or a brand that people think of when they need services you offer. Being top of mind is extremely beneficial. Being visible also allows you to cultivate a community around your brand. This is invaluable for word of mouth marketing and brand loyalty, and that is the heart and soul of what most luxury-based full-service photography business are, for example. Publicly committing to a challenge or a goal like this can also increase your accountability and makes you more likely to follow through just in your daily stuff, not even just during the challenge. It's going to help you stay accountable to all the other non-negotiables that you want to make a priority in your life. Regular visibility allows for quicker feedback, helping you adapt and evolve your offerings more efficiently. Consistent online presence allows you to share your story, your values, your behind the scenes, and all of these can create a deeper connection with your audience. And that connection is invaluable. And in a saturated market, visibility can be the differentiating factor that tilts the scale in your favor. Online visibility opens up markets that you may not have been able to reach otherwise, especially important for creatives who can offer digital products or online services, for example. And like I said, I work with a lot of you guys inside of coaching. And what I hear from you most often is that you can see a direct correlation between how much you're showing up and how visible you are, how much you're talking about your business and how much business you actually get. If I had a nickel for every time somebody told me, I know it's me. I know I'm the problem. (laughs) It's like the Taylor Swift song. Hi, it's me. Um, That I'm not showing up enough. I know that I'm not doing enough for my business. I know that. And I have a deep-seated fear of it or whatever it is. And I know that this is why I don't have the business that I desire. Okay, so let's change this, you guys. Let's show up for our businesses for the next 30 days straight. Let's commit to it, okay? I'm going to show you in just a second how easy this can be and how the accountability that I've built into it makes the most difference. Also, before I get into the details about how it's going to go down and how it's going to be structured, I want you to just envision this experience, okay, like a mixtape. If you're old enough, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, if you're maybe an older millennial, Gen X, or we used to make mixtapes all the time. I want you to think about each of the days of this challenge as a different track, 
okay? And you're the DJ. You're the one mixing and creating your ultimate playlist for your brand. I'm all about metaphors, and metaphors can help us actually make things a lot more fun. So as we start talking about this, I want you to maybe envision that in your mind, like that you're the DJ and you're making this awesome mixtape. And if you're into food, change it up. Maybe you're a chef, and each day represents a new recipe in your new cookbook that you're making, okay? Do whatever you need to do to make this fun, okay? Because this is what it's all about. You're creative, and I want you to use your creativity inside of this challenge. Let's get into how it's going to go down. Now, the main goal for this is for you to be as visible as possible for your top of funnel marketing. If you've never heard me talk about the three different levels of marketing, top of funnel, middle, and bottom. Okay. Top of funnel is all about visibility and reach and just brand awareness. That middle part of the funnel is building trust, really doubling down on why people can hire you. Bottom of funnel is calls to action. Now we are going to dip our toe into the middle and bottom. Okay. When some of the prompts that I give you guys, but mainly we're focusing on this brand awareness. This 30 days of creative show and tell officially kicks off tomorrow, September 21st, and goes through October 20th, 2023. That does not mean, however, that you have to participate in every single day to win some of the prizes. I'm going to get to the prizes in just a little bit. You can jump into this challenge at any point, okay? And I encourage you to do that. So don't let that be a deterrent for you. And As a side note, it's only $11, you guys. Like I've made this as cheap as humanly possible, (laughs) as accessible as possible for you because I really want as many creatives to join us as possible. So in the show notes, you're going to see a link. When you click that link, you're going to get to a website. And on that page, I'm going to spell it all out for you, but I'm going to walk you through it right now. Inside of the challenge, after you join, you're going to get an email and the email has all the information. So if you have purchased any of my courses or anything like that in the past, it's not going to live in your library like a lot of my other courses do. This is going to be done a little bit differently. You're going to get a link in that email that takes you to a Notion document. If you haven't used Notion before, oh my God, you guys... It is the best organizational tool for a creative brain that I have ever seen in my life. I use it for literally everything. We can maybe have a whole podcast about Notion. Actually, that's a really good idea. If anybody listening is a Notion uh, expert, DM me. I want to talk. I'm being totally serious. I am obsessed with it and it's free. Okay, so you're going to get a link that's going to bring you to a Notion document where all of the challenge resources live. You're going to make a duplicate of that. You're going to be prompted to do that and to put it into your own Notion account, which again is free. And then from there, you're going to see this whole like 30 days of prompts. And then at the bottom, there's going to be some resources for you as well as a little video of me walking you through it. And also in that email, you're going to get another link to a Voxer thread. Voxer is a free texting app, voice texting app. You can put text or voice I love to use it for my coaching students. In fact, the only way that you can even access Voxer support with me is usually in one-on-one or group coaching. I've never offered it in an offer this low in price before, but you're really going to want to join that Voxer thread because that is where you're going to be able to get your accountability and support. So inside of that thread, I'm going to be popping in there every day, giving you guys ideas, motivation, trends as I come across them. A lot of this challenge is going to be done in real time. So the Notion document does have some things planned out for you, ideas and some resources, but I also want you to like lean into the fun of this and lean into your creativity. Those of us with like highly creative, overactive brains, we thrive on the new and the different, the novelty, right? And that's why a lot of us have a hard time planning our content out far in advance because it's just, it's so boring. I don't want this to be boring. So a lot of this challenge is going to be in real time. And then you can actually make this your own. I really, really want you to make this your own. You also do not have to post a video okay, every single day. So don't think that this is a 30-day visibility challenge where you have to post a reel and or a TikTok. If you do post a reel or a TikTok every single day, there's going to be a big prize for you at the end. But if you don't have the capacity to do that yet, I still want you to do this challenge because visibility does not mean 
showing up on video. Visibility just means getting your brand in front of your target clients. That can look like you showing up on your story. It could look like reposting some of your old content. It could look like doing a static post. There's a lot of different ways that this challenge can be interpreted including on your website. It doesn't necessarily have to be on social. I would prefer that you show up on social and you do some type of marketing in that fashion. But again, I'm not like, I'm not going to penalize you, right? This is supposed to be fun. I want you to take it and interpret it for what makes sense for you and at least just commit to what feels good for you. And honestly, if it doesn't feel good, I don't want you to do it. Y'all know I'm a really big believer in that we have to feel good first, okay? If we want to have any kind of success in our life, the energy that we put behind it matters. So if you're doing something because you feel like you have to, that is going to come through. So throughout this entire challenge, I want to encourage you to just be your most authentic self. Be free to be you, the most you that you can possibly be. That is your best asset. It always will be. Also, as a side note, The materials I provide for you during this challenge are not going to be relevant just for this challenge for the next 30 days. They'll be relevant forever, really. They are marketing materials and you are free to use them in the future and you should. So if you want to attract your dream clients like a magnet, boost your income without the burnout and fall in love with marketing again, you really need to hop inside this 30-day challenge tomorrow. Consistent visibility means consistent income. Learn how to turn your daily creative dares that I give you into revenue generating activities that feel as fun as they are profitable. So what can you win? All right, so there's gonna be multiple prizes. Like I mentioned before, there's gonna be one person who wins $300 in cash. Well, actually Venmo, but still 300 bucks, okay? If you show up every single day by posting on your feed and your story, on Instagram. And you also post on TikTok. Okay. If you do all of those things, you're going to win 300 bucks cash, 30 days of that. All right. But there's also going to be other prizes for other things. And then some of this stuff, I got to be honest with you, there's going to be kind of in the moment, there'll be prizes for being a great supporter, participating in the Voxer thread, how much you participate, how much you cheer other people on there. And also on Instagram. Are you going to people's posts and cheering them on and leaving comments? Are you helping build other people up? There'll be prizes for that. Also, originality and creativity, okay? I highly prioritize creativity. So how creative did you take that prompt? And how did you portray your brand messaging through that prompt? I'm going to be kind of popping in and giving away all kinds of things from audible books, coaching calls with me. You can even be a guest on the podcast to promote your business or whatever you want. There'll also be prizes for sharing on social. How much do you share about it? How much do you get other people excited about it? There's going to be a lot of different opportunities and some of them I'm just going to kind of surprise you guys with because who doesn't love surprises? Okay. Some of us don't love surprises, but when it you know involves actual like fun gifts that you might be winning, (laughs) I think you'll be on board. And if you're one of my coaching clients who's currently coaching with me, either one-on-one or inside of a group like Elevate, you get access to this for free. So make sure you check your emails and our private groups for the code so that you can get access to it for free when you check out. So to recap, sign up at the link that's down in the show notes. You're going to get an email with all the details on what's next, as well as a link to a Notion document that contains all the content and instructions, as well as instructions on how to add it to your own Notion account. You're also going to get the invitation to join the Voxer thread to support one another. Make sure you join that ASAP. Use the prompts and the daily inspiration from me to create your content. Get rewarded by me with prizes, and also by getting new clients from all the marketing that you're doing. Stick with it for 30 days to create a long-lasting habit. We officially end on October 20th, and then keep that momentum going on your own. Book more clients, make more money, and have fun doing something that you love again. So if your marketing plan is inconsistent or non-existent, if you feel like you're ready for a creative renaissance, or if just being on social media makes you break out in hives, this challenge is for you. I hope you'll join us. 
The link is in the show notes, but you can also go to www.reneebowencoaching.com slash 30 day visibility challenge. You'll find everything you need there. And again, guys, it's only $11. I do believe that we have to put some skin in the game if we're going to actually follow through. So I want you to hold yourself accountable by paying $11, which is 36 cents a day, basically. I really did not want to price it high enough so that it would give you guys an easy excuse and an easy out. Okay, so even though we start tomorrow, you can head to that link now and sign up now, get access to everything a whole day before everybody else and get ready and prepped for our first day of the 30-day show and tell visibility challenge. As always, thanks guys for tuning in. And if you have any questions about the challenge, hit me up on Instagram at Renee Bowen, or if you just wanna chat with me in general, hit me up there as well. And if you wanna share this episode with your friend to let them know about the challenge, please send it over. When you do share on social, make sure you tag me so that I can see because I do like to surprise people with little gifts for sharing about the podcast as well as for leaving us reviews, which is always super, super awesome. You can do that really easily by going to ratethispodcast.com slash Renee Bowen. Have an amazing rest of your day, rest of your week, and I'm going to see you guys inside of this challenge. Okay, I'll see you there. (laughs) 